American military is pouring into Europe behind the scenes, while the EU shuts down over the coronavirus scare. Revelation prophecy fulfilling. While the whole of Europe is shutting down due to this coronavirus pandemic scare, and while everyone is gripped by the current mainstream media hype, something is happening behind the scenes, as usual. What many people do not know is that while Europe is in lockdown, tens of thousands of American soldiers and military equipment is flooding into EU countries. But why? Let's take a look at the following report first. The Ministers for Defense of the 27 countries of the EU, 22 of which are also members of NATO, met on 4 and 5 March in Zagreb, Croatia. The central theme of the meeting, in which Lorenzo Guarini of the Democratic Party represented Italy, was not to seek a response to the coronavirus crisis, but how best to develop military mobility. The decisive test is the Defender Europe 20 exercise, scheduled for April and May. The General Secretary of NATO, Jens Stoltenberg, who took part in the EU meeting, defines it as the largest deployment of US forces in Europe since the end of the Cold War. The 20,000 soldiers who with 10,000 others already on site and 7,000 NATO allies are presently arriving in Europe from the USA, informs the US Army Europe. They are to deploy throughout the European region. The US forces are bringing with them 33,000 pieces of military equipment, from personal weapons to Abrams assault tanks. Source will be in the description below. Interesting that Zagreb was hit by a large earthquake a couple weeks after this meeting, but that is a side point. Why do we need tens of thousands of US soldiers and military equipment coming into Europe? What is their purpose? Well, we hear of the Russian threat a lot on the news, but is this merely to help protect Europe, or is it more of a takeover of Europe? Well, to find out the answer of that, we need to look to God's word and end time Bible prophecy. In Revelation 13, we find two beast powers, the beast out of the sea and the beast out of the land. It would take too much time to show who both beast powers are in this video, so for the first beast power, please see our page Who is the Seven-Headed Beast of Revelation? Link will be in the description below, and you will see that the first beast is Papal Rome. But here we are focusing on the second beast power, and the reason we are focusing on that second beast is because of what we are told in Revelation 13 concerning this beast. Take a look, Revelation 13 verses 11, 12, 15, and 16. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Just to clarify what a beast represents in Bible prophecy, in Daniel 7 verse 23 we are told that a beast is a kingdom on earth. Thus he said, The fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth, which shall be diverse from all kingdoms, and shall devour the whole earth, and shall tread it down and break it in pieces. Thus he said, The fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth. So these two beasts in Revelation 13 are two kingdoms slash countries, and yes, 
Papal Rome based at the Vatican is its own nation. But did you notice what this second beast nation is said to do earlier? It is going to cause the whole world to bow to the first beast, the Pope and Papal Church of Rome, and cause the whole world to take Rome's mark. Now what single nation on earth has the power to do such a thing? Yes, you guessed it, America. God even tells us in verse 11 earlier that this beast nation is like a lamb but speaks like a dragon. Does not America profess to be lamb-like Christian and yet speaks like a dragon Satan? Absolutely. So why are tens of thousands of American soldiers and military equipment flooding into Europe? To protect us? No! To gain control, ready to enforce the Pope's mark upon us. We did a news report recently showing America's New World Order plans surrounding the whole world with its military bases. I will leave a link in the description to that. There are many reports like this one suggesting that the coronavirus was created by America to be used as a biological weapon to gain control. And seeing American troops and equipment flooding into Europe, anyone with eyes to see will see that the second beast of Revelation 13 is getting into position ready to enforce the mark upon the world. Friends, there is no more time to be chasing dreams in this world. We cannot be playing around any longer. Time is running out and the signs all around us show us that the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is at the door. See Matthew 24 verse 33. One day soon it will be too late to get ready as we must be ready so let us not delay any longer let us surrender our lives to the lord jesus christ so that we may be found in him and be saved for a deeper look into america and bible prophecy please see our page america in prophecy thank you for listening god bless and visit our website for more amazing bible truths Please prayerfully study this information as it is of utmost importance for everyone. Also, to stay up to date on end time news, go to our website, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Twitter. All links will be in the description below. Thank you for listening, and please heed the warning. God bless. Thank you for watching. I pray this message has opened your eyes. Please make sure to read the links in the description and check out these amazing Bible truth videos. For more amazing Bible truths slash Bible studies, go to end-times-prophecy.org. The links will be in the description below. God bless.